Chris Singleton. I'm John Jumby. The first half of the All-Star break is behind us, and partner, it's go time in the second half. And if you want to be playing meaningful games at the end of September, you got to put your head down and grind for the next eight weeks. Live from Cleveland, this is Progressive Field. MLB The Show has action out of the AL Central. It's the Detroit Tigers taking on the Cleveland Guardians. All right, we'll be back to get this one started. So just about set now. And towing the slab for the Cleveland Guardians, number 39. What do you have on him, Chris? Well, he's been a real quality starter for his club. And coming into this one, what stands out for me is that right-handed hitters have really struggled batting below 200 on the year. It seems that they have a hard time picking up his release point and tracking the ball into the zone. So we'll see how right-handers do against him in this one. Okay, all set to go. Digging in, it's the speedy outfielder, Wenzel Perez. And that skips in the dirt. And a pitch. No, that's a ball. Swing and a foul straight back. And a 2-1 on the way. Swing and a miss. Nice changeup. Next pitch is outside. Really good take, especially with two strikes. The kick, the 3-2. Good plate appearance there. Able to take the walk. Well, he tried to nibble right there and just missed his spot. Hitter didn't offer at it. Now he has somebody to worry about over the first. And next up for the Tigers, mm -hmm. Colt Keith. I'm liking what I've seen from him at the dish lately. Oh. Batting over 300 so far this month. Keith measures six feet two inches, 22 years old, and he was a fifth round pick in 2020. Right hander kicks deals. Oh, that oh. one finds the zone, and it's a ball and a strike. Perez aboard here at first with nobody out. There's a strike. Up the middle. Dives, but it kicks off his glove. Not in time. He's safe. So up next, Matt Veerling. Right through there for a strike. And he deals. That one misses, and the count is one and one. First and second, no outs. And we're just getting started here in the top of the first. Hammers that one, curling down the line, and foul. Really going after him here. All fastballs to get ahead in the count. At the belt and fires. Not close with that one, and the count is two and two. Three, two, just misses there. Thinking of that call in the upper part of the zone, but just didn't get it. Now he's just trying to get a better feel for how much it missed, so he can adjust his sights just a little bit. Payoff pitch. That ball is foul, and the pressure is building. Fouled off again. 
And it remains three and two. High fly ball to center field. Under this one. And that is a big first out. That is cool. But that's a big first out. And now the Tigers line up for manager A.J. Hinch. They do a lot of things well in this offense, Singy. They control the strike zone. They make pitchers work hard for outs. And as a result, one of the better OBP teams in the league. Well, what I love about it is it's an organizational philosophy. Whether you go to instructional league, whether you go to spring training, you see these players even during batting practice when it doesn't matter they're practicing that type of approach, Boog. And when you have that filtering through the organization, even when you call up a player, they step right in and continue with the pattern that they have established at this level, which ultimately leads to a lot of success. Two on, one out. Swing and a foul over the screen and back out of play. You know, you translate on base percentage, it's basically this. Teams that have a high on base percentage, they don't make outs at a very high rate. As my buddy Joe Sheehan says, OBP, his life. Tracks it down for the out. And there's two down. Maybe caught that one off the end just a little bit. Couldn't quite barrel it up enough to really drive it. So first and second with two outs. Now here's the Detroit catcher, Carson Kelly. He's been really clutch with runners in scoring position this season, so they'll have to be extra careful in this matchup. There's the strike. back our way and that's out of play two on two outs one ball in the dirt tag safe and a wild pitch and both runners are in scoring position two outs two in scoring position Hit in the air, right field. Brennan settles under this one and makes the grab. And that is that. Tigers strand a pair, and now the Guardians will see what their bats can do in a scoreless ball game. You're watching Major League Baseball exclusively on the show. Back here in Cleveland. Starting on the mound in this one, Bo Brisky. Singing, he's kind of a road warrior, yeah? I definitely say so. You know, some guys shrink a little bit on the road. They're so used to just you know, having the comforts of being at home and having the fans behind them. But this guy seems to thrive in adversity and being in some hostile environment. So when you have a player like this on your team that goes out there and competes, you definitely like your chances away from your home ballpark. On the ground to third. Tosses to first. One gone bottom half of the first. Here's the Guardians lineup now. Here's the sixth spot for them in this one. Andres Jimenez. And Boog, he's a fun at bat to watch. I mean, definitely a threat whenever he's got that bat in his hands. But for me, it's, it's all about the mechanics. They're so sound. And when he gets his foot down on time and starts his swing, so much consistency, that bat stays in the zone for a long time. No. And he squares up the baseball a lot. Angel Martinez in the box with one away as he takes ball one. Next offering is in for a strike. One out, base is empty. That one a little bit high. Two and one. And that's in for a strike. Hard hit, left side. And two yep. quick outs in the bottom of the first here tonight. Well, Boog, we talk about how the ball is coming out of the pitcher's hand. The way it comes out of his hand as an infielder. Wow, really impressive. Now it's Jose Ramirez. It's been a tough stretch for him at the plate. Barely hitting over the Mendoza line this month. 
And first offering is fouled off. But why the kick the pitch? And there's a rocket into the outfield. Around first, heading for two. The throw into second. Not going to get him. He's in there. He was all over that one. Other than ripping one into the gap or blasting one over the wall, there aren't a whole lot of hits that are more satisfying than a nice line drive in the center field. So that definitely felt good. And it's forward position with two away. Now it's going to be Josh Naylor. Fought off foul. And the strategy of winning a ball game, when you can make that pitcher work a little more, expose himself by throwing pitches, that could be the key to winning perhaps later on. So good job of extending this inning, getting a knock with two outs to bring the number four hole hitter up. Swing and a miss. Looked off balance that time. He's trying to stay away from this lefty, knowing that a lot of left-handers like the ball down and in. Ramirez at second with two down. Next pitch is outside. Fights it off. He'll see another. The one two. Gets a piece and stays alive. pitch that's way outside the count now two and two keeps the at bat going with a foul ball ninth pitch of the at bat due next Right-hander deals, and that just misses. Evidently not too impressed with that call, and it feels like he got squeezed on the outside corner, so he's making his case. You've got to be careful to pick your spots in terms of showing your frustration with the umpire, and he felt this was his time. And it's ball four. He missed down low. It wasn't easy, but he earned that walk after a long at bat. I don't think he really wanted to pitch to him right there anyhow. First and second, two down. Now it's the right fielder, Will Brennan. Up and in, and it's one and oh. Two outs. Swings and pulls it foul to the right side. Looked like you got a little excited on that fastball. Got to think to yourself, you want to stay up the middle. That way, if you're a little bit early, you hit it out of the ballpark. If you're a little late, opposite field not. And that one in the air center field brings it in. And that ends the inning. Guardians strand a couple, scoreless after one. Now at Progressive Field. Here's Gio Urshela. Number 13, Gio Urshela. Now the right hander ready to go. Still no score. Foul ball there. A one down. No, that's the ball. Larry Bullard making the calls behind the plate for us in this one. Pretty good strike zone. Well reviewed by those we talked to around the league. Yeah, he's an umpire. He doesn't get a lot of looks from players, maybe here and there once in a while, but he's appreciated back there. Swings through that. It's a good changeup to hit up in the zone. I don't think he recognized it. I'm sure he'd love to have that one back. And another ball. Hey. And a swing and a miss. And that's the first down. So digging in, Zach McKinstry. That clips the corner.
One down, base is empty. Outside. And one and one. No score here in the second. And one and two. One and two. Right into the plate. Outside low. And it's two and two. Swing and a miss, and he struck him out. Two up, two down at the top of the second. He's really that good hitting the baseball the, the other way, so credit the pitcher for having him out in front of that pitch. Clearly, he had him fooled. At the plate, Andy Abanez. Two outs, space is empty. Foul ball. One and that's ball. in the dirt. That ball. one missed. The two two. Okay. Yeah. Impeccable command in that one. Three batters, three strikeouts. That's electric stuff out there on the mound. Bottom half of inning number two. Here's Andres Jimenez. The second baseman. Andres Jimenez. The right hander back to work. Tap to first. Devonez tosses to the pitcher covering the bag. Leadoff man retired here in the second. The third baseman. Here's the third baseman. Pitch and that's in for a strike. That's and one there. Fouled off. He was late. Righty delivers. Fights that one away. Still one and two. There's a ball. It's a good take. Line drive. That's a base hit. So they get a man aboard with a one-out single. Well, they call that an advantage count for a reason. You're so much more likely to get something you can handle. Nice job of driving that pitch the other way on a line. You know, hitters, they take so many reps in the cages working on going to the opposite field, and it doesn't always translate into the game, but right there it did, and he did it perfectly. And now a chance to maybe get creative on offense with good speed on first. Risky throws over. No, he got it. Safe. Bo Naylor at the plate now. Fouls one off out of play. Back to our left. Man at first, one away. Bottom of the zone and a called strike. Foul ball still 0-2. The pitch. Cuts on it and misses. That's a strikeout. Pulled the string of the changeup. Here's Brian Rakio. Not your stop. 
That one inside. What ball one. Risky picks the first. No, he's in and he's back in easily. Two outs. Oh. And that's too high. Chris with that distraction and a speedy guy at first. He's in a favorable hitter's count. Well, if nothing else, I mean, this is a great spot for a hitter okay. to be in. Stephen Kwan waiting for a turn at the plate. The right-hander gives up the two-out walk. That well, just came apart right there. Four-pitch walk, and now, uh, guy at the play was not going to help him out by He's swinging bad. at something out of the zone. Stephen Kwan digs in for the Guardians. the ground out to short they take the force out and that is that we move to the third with no score here in Cleveland and now number 50 the line of the pitch there's a strike. And that curveball drops in there for a strike. 0 2 Cal, both pitches on the inside part of the plate. Hitter is thinking, I want to get deep here. This is a good time for something off speed or what? That was a pretty good pitch. Top of the strike zone. We're seeing more fastballs in that location. Hitters, especially with two strikes, have to be ready to pull the trigger. Next to hit for Detroit, Wenzel Perez. Oh. And ball one to the right fielder. One down, base is empty. Huh. Top one of ball. the third, okay. no score. Popped up to the left, into foul ground, drifts towards it, pulls it in for the out. That's out number two. Now that second base is Cole Heath. Colt Heath up now for the Tigers. Reached on an infield single his first time. Hammered down the right side, but foul. Two down, nobody on. That one missed one. inside. And that is ball one. Going to put good velocity in the head of the hitter. He's got to get it ready early and then change speeds. Keep him off balance. That's the goal. Swing and he breaks his back. Fires to first on the run. They get the out. And that'll do it. Down in order go the Tigers, and we are still scoreless. And welcome back to the ballpark. And now the center fielder, Angel Martinez. Risky, back to work. And that one fouled off. And that is in for a strike. And the count is 0-2. And that one missing low. And a pitch. Ah, that hit him. And the leadoff man is aboard to start the inning. You know, Boog, you always say how important it is to have a good feel for the game. Is it safe after the game? You step into the box, I'll throw some fastballs at you. No, actually, I think we're good, Chris. 
Ramirez swings through it for strike one. Good pitch right there. Anytime you can get one by a bat of this caliber, especially with runners on, it's got to give you some confidence out there on the mound that you can win this battle. Missed with a changeup. Ball one, ball. one. Way to lay off that pitch down. And look out. That one gets him. The second man he's plunked in this one. Fastball high and tight right there. A scary combo. I'll tell you what, everyone in the stadium looked like they felt like they needed to jump out of the way. I know I moved. Nailer in the box now. Take strike one. He's looking for a strikeout or a ball on the ground for a double play to sort of calm this situation down. Next pitch misses, and that's ball one. Wouldn't chase that time. Tough spot right here. A couple runners on. Two ball count. You can't nibble, but you have to execute and finish your pitch. If you leave something out over the plate, it's going to bring in some runs. Martinez at second, Ramirez at first with no outs. Swings and misses, struck him out. Really tight bite on that slider and just couldn't get the barrel to it out front. You've got to try to pull those hands tight to the body to get it through. And I'm thinking he probably wanted that pitch to end up even more inside to keep it out of the danger zone. But it had enough late break and deception to get the job done. And now the right fielder, Will Brennan. That's in there. Strike one. No ball. All one eyes strike. on the double play ball in this spot. No better way to get out of this inning. Runners at first and second with one gone. Off That's the, the mark there. And the count even one and one. Inside, just missed. It's a big opportunity right here, but I love the way he's slowing the game down. He's shrinking his own, making sure he gets the pitch that he wants to hit. And that one fouled off. Two on, one out. Spoils that one, and it remains two and two. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Couldn't catch up to the heater. Oh, nothing too fancy on the strikeout pitch right there. Just a low 90s fastball, and I'm not sure he was trying to challenge him, but that's pretty much what happened. Very hittable location. We found a way to just get it by him. So first and second with two outs. Now it's the second baseman, Andres Jimenez. And there's the strike. The Guardians looking to strike first here in the last half of the third. Hot shot to first base, and he snags it to end the inning. On to the fourth, still scoreless. Start of the fourth. Here's the center fielder, Matt Veerling. The wind of the pitch. Veerling, 27 years old, and they went out and made a trade for him last season. The pitch. Right through there for a strike. And here.
here it comes. Knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. Wouldn't oh, chase that good. time. That's towards center. And that will fall. So a man on base to start the inning. Hitting is really easy for some guys. One thing that I can see already, well, his bat stays in the zone on plane for an extended period of time. And guys like that, they have a high contact rate and they have more barrels because of that bat being on plane. And even when you don't get it great, oh, it's still hit hard enough to dunk something in like that in front of the center fielder. Pitch. Inside corner for a strike. Pitch is in there. And the count one and two. The two strikes may see some movement over there at first base, trying to stay out of the double play right here. In the dirt. Two balls, two strikes. Well, with the amount of pitches that can end up in the dirt a good secondary lead doesn't have to get away from the catcher but if you're anticipating based off the trajectory get yourself in the scoring position Carson Kelly up next for the Tigers left hand batter waits foul we'll see another payoff pitch kicks and deals Swing and a miss. He struck him out. And an excellent job keeping it right there. Well, classic pitch sequencing there to change eye levels for the punch out. That fastball on the pitch before was off. It was very competitive. And that gets you thinking that he might try to climb the ladder. But then the curveball out of that same tunnel just falls off the table. And he can't make contact. And now the batter is Carson Kelly. Fly to right his first time. Pulls that one foul. Here comes the 1. And a foul ball. Check swing of the 0 2, appeal to first, and no swing, says James Kingsley. Check on the runner, and he's back in on a dive. And the pitch. Got him looking for the strikeout. Called strike three and a fastball up in the zone. Oh, interesting. He's looking very comfortable out of the stretch after giving up the leadoff single. Back-to-back yeah. -back strikeout. So they haven't been able to move that runner up, get him into scoring position, and try to have a better chance of scoring. I tell you, good job so far on the mound. He just needs one more out. Gio Urshela to the plate. That one fouled off. Here comes a pitch. Ripped to short. Toss to Naylor. Third out. Tigers lead one, and we're still knotted at zero. And we're back. Now the third baseman, number 10. And the right hander back to work. And a foul ball left side. Deal one. Ball one. Activity Ball one. in the bullpen for Detroit. Reese Olsen up and loosening in the pen. Here's a one-one. 
swing and a miss, and that's strike two. Want to generally, second, third time through the lineup, you want to be able to lean on those secondary pitches and no. command them. Looks like he's doing a nice job of it. Left-hand hitter waits. Swing and a miss, struck him out. Now, now So in now for Cleveland, Bo Naylor. Went down on strikes his first time through. That catches the corner. All tied up. We're here at the bottom of the fourth. Off the mark there. And the count is one and one. That's down and in. That one fouled off. Two and two. The pitch. Foul ball. Another 2-2 two -two upcoming. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. Comes a 2-2. Two -two. And another ball. Still just the second batter of the inning. And on the mound, he's already thrown 13 pitches. They've got him working hard out there. Right side, hard hit. Tosses the first. He didn't make things easy for him there, but they still get the out. Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of the air. Let's the defense work behind him with another ground ball. Good execution. Stepping up for the Guardians, Brian Rocchio. Pitch misses there, and that's ball one. Just no, missed. Two and one. trying to stay back a little bit longer for that changeup as he fouls that fastball back. Spoils the two strike pitch and he'll see another. And it goes oh. just foul. Oh, and that's off the inside okay. edge. And that's ball three. Eighth pitch of the at back coming up. Bounce to third. Makes the sliding stop to first. And that's a nice play to end the inning. Guardians go down one, two, three. Still no score. Back here in Cleveland. And the batter will be the shortstop, Zach McKinstry. The pitch. That's in there. All wrong. Well, these Tigers showing great discipline at the plate, and patience definitely seems to be the name of their game in this one. They haven't produced a run yet, but the pitch count for the starter is starting to climb, so they're hoping that starts to pay off soon. Next offering is down low. Now two balls and a strike. And I think they're in a good spot thanks to their pitching, but no one would be shocked if this oh. offense strings something together to take the lead. Right-hander kicks deals. And he walked him. That could jumpstart an offense that's really struggled to score in this one. Don't want to wake a team up with a free pass. Go ahead, run on base. And up next for Detroit, Andy Abanez. Finds the zone, and that is strike one. McKinstry gets his lead at first. Nobody out. Breaking ball inside. One ball, one, ball, one, one strike. strike. Looks like he was trying to get to the front door with that curveball. It's definitely a finesse pitch, but it backed up a little bit on him and stayed inside.
On the ground to first. Off balance feed. There's one to first. Not in time. Great effort there. Now the left fielder. He struck out swinging at his first at bat. high activity in the bullpen Scott Barlow a right-hander with big strikeout stuff is getting it fired up swings and lines a base hit into left field they get it in quickly so first and second now one out up next to the tie so the batting order turns over and the batter now Wenzel Perez I'm curious how he decides to attack on the mound this guy at the plate has been great hitting under pressure this year just missed the last thing he wants is to hit the ball on the ground but I wouldn't expect many pitches up in the zone they'll be pitching for a double play in this spot one out runners at first and second Swings and hits a fly ball. Center field. Squeezes it. That's a really nice play, ranging back into the outfield for that catch. We all know those could be a little tricky, especially if the wind's rolling around out there. So first and now second with two outs. And next up for the Tigers, Colt Keith, one for two. And it skips in the dirt. In the air, fairly deep to right field. Brennan under it. Brings it in. And that's the third out. Tigers strand a pair. Halfway through this one, still no score. Back now, now to start the bottom of the fifth and taking over on the mound, Reese Olson. And we all know about his slider. It's just filthy, man. And one of the better ones in the game, I'd say. Spin rate's very high, and it just breaks a ton. So the Guardians lineup turns over. Here's the left fielder, Stephen Kwan. A wind of the pitch. Swing and a miss as he chases that one darting out of the zone. You know, these Guardians looking to string together better at bats when they have runners on, but it just hasn't happened for them yet. They've had their chances with runners in scoring position, but nobody's been able to deliver a big hit in those situations. The feather fielder. And up next for Cleveland, Angel Martinez. He's 0 for 1. And a foul ball. And you got to give some credit to the other side as well. They've been able to get out of a few tough jams, but frustration is mounting for this offense, no doubt. That misses. 1 and 1. Base is empty one away. Last half of inning number five. Good eye right there. That one the other way. Flashes the leather on the running catch. Two down. Now back. The Here's Jose Ramirez. Scoreless here, but now he's got to deal with a guy who's got some power. Got to be careful 
when you're talking about a hitter with this type of slug and these type of home run totals. Not sure if he was expecting for the pitcher to come right at him, but he got a nice cookie there and just watched it the entire way. Two outs. And that one's a little bit low, and it's one and one. And strike two. One ball. Two straight. Bows it off. Still one and two. And a pitch. The other way. Brings it in for the third out. Guardians fail to score. Sixth inning coming up. Still nothing on the scoreboard. Back now at Progressive Field. And here is Matt Beerling. The wide to kick the pitch. Wouldn't chase that time. Next offering in there for a strike. That's strike one. It really looks like these hitters have been in between with their timing today. Good fastball, excellent slider, but they've not been able to commit to one velocity and stay there. One, two now. Swing and a ball lifted left field. Juan makes the catch, and there's one gone. Now, here's Riley Green. Pitch misses, and it's one to know. Swing and a fly ball in the air out towards right center field. Brennan makes the grab on the run. And here's the catcher, Carson Kelly. That to right. Settles underneath it. Makes the grab and that'll end the inning. Make it six shutout innings for him out there now. And we still have no score. Well, we go bottom six. And now the first baseman, Josh Naylor. The right-hander back to work. Swing and a foul straight back. Swing and a foul straight back. Next one misses. Going to count one and two. Action in the pen down there. Alex Fiedo getting loose out there. Colton, a left-hander, also throwing. Ground ball up the middle. To first, and that's one out as they get the leadoff hitter in the sixth. Will Brennan digs in for the Guardians. Next offering, pop foul off to the right out of play. All tied up here in the bottom of the sixth. Kicks and fires. This one smashed down the right field line. Big 
get there and now maybe extra bases. Round second, digging for third. The relay, the tag, and he's out trying for three. The triple is arguably the most exciting play in baseball. Okay. The guys work so hard to get around first, to get around second, to get thrown out at third. Man, you just feel bad for him. On top of that, he was already in scoring position, so you think about how it kind of hurts the team as well. Out towards left center, under it. Makes the catch in and over. And welcome back to the ballpark. Here's the third baseman, Gio Urshela. As he turns on the rubber, and with that good live arm delivers. That's in there, and it's 0-1. Cleveland has some action going in their pen. Tim Heron, the lefty, looks to be getting himself ready. Bybee getting loose as well. And the righty deals. On the ground. Zips it across. One up, one down. Now back the short McKinstry. Digging in, Zach McKinstry. Foul ball there. Base is empty one away here in the top half of inning number seven. And that's in the dirt. And it's a ball to strike. Late swing, foul to the left. You can see he was trying to stay back long enough to handle the off-speed pitch, but just a little tardy on the fastball. Jimenez makes the play, and yeah, there's two away. And here's the first baseman, Andy Abanez. He swings and misses at the first pitch. Oh, one one. Well, this guy on the mound's done a lot better than we would have expected, and the hitters just don't seem to have the right game plan. They're taking too many mistake pitches for called strikes. And that one wrapped foul. Foul ball. It stays nothing in two. Now fly ball to right center. Touches down. That's a hit. So a two out knock keeps the inning alive and puts the go ahead run on base. Now I don't know how he's able to shoot that pitch the other way and still put something on it. That pitch was inside and he let it get really deep. So pretty incredible hands to fight it off and still get good wood on it. Now on the bump, Tanner Bybee. He has a great slider with tons of movement. Now the left fielder. Right through there for a strike. If you're a base runner, you've got to stay dialed in here. Look for anything in the dirt. Try your best to get into scoring position. Two gone. The possible go-ahead run at first. Next offering is in for a strike. Perhaps not quite ready to hit. First two pitches by him for a couple of strikes. Now back is against the wall. He's going to have to figure something out and figure it out quickly. Next offering upstairs. That's a really good job of laying off the 0-2 high fastball. Is going to make that pitcher really have to respect this. And he got him. Strike three, and that'll retire the side. A strong showing there from the Cleveland bullpen. Midway in inning number seven, and it's time to stretch. And we still have no score.
And we're back. Lead now the off. third baseman, Fourth number 10. The third baseman. Yeah, yeah. The line of the pitch. Neither. And that one fouled off. And the right-hander deals. One ball, one strike. This to third. Urshela to first in time. And the leadoff hitter set down to open the seventh. Now the catcher. And now the catcher comes up to him. Bo Naylor. Taken high in the draft. He's had that top prospect label over him since he put on a professional uniform. But at some point, that starts to go away, and you've got to produce at the big league level. Fouled off. He was late. And he deals. Huh. Oh, Fights that one away, and the count remains 0-2. One down, base is empty. That one missed by a lot. Yeah, the count 1-2. and two. Outside. Still 2-2 two and two after the foul ball. Righty delivers. That's out to center field. Beerland makes the grab. Two down. Good piece of hitting right there. Nice hard line drive to the outfield. You're trying to get on base, represent that go ahead run. Can't hang your head on that at all. So in now for Cleveland, Ryan Rocchio. And that's off the inside edge. Ball one. Right through there for a strike. Two down, nobody on. Next pitch in for a strike. And the count, one and two. One ball, two strikes. That one missed. Two balls, two strikes. Two outs. Battling here as he fouls it away. He's mixing his pitches really well late on that fastball after seeing the changeup. See if he can elevate. Got him looking. Three up, three down, inning over. Here in Cleveland, digging in is the switch inning outfielder, Wenzel Perez. The right field. Wenzel. And a pitch. Gets the call. Strike one. Meanwhile, activity in the bullpen. Tim Heron, the left-hander, up and throwing. The pitch. Bunting for a hit. Naylor throws to first. In time. Leadoff man is out here in the eighth. Well, he gave the bonus shot there, but not able to execute. Yeah, I think he rushed it a little bit, and when guys rush, it can be a pop-up or can be bunted right back at a position player. Bounding ball here, rolls foul. Ball tied up, and we're at the top of the eighth. Late on that fastball. It might be time to choke up a little bit, get that front foot down early, maybe even just spread out. He's really late right now. And that one is lifted in the air. He's got it. Two away. And next to hit for Detroit, Matt Veerling. One for three. Trying to keep good speed off the bases. One. Line drive, and that's a base hit to right. 
And that extends the inning. Everything came together for him. Anytime you rip a line drive the other way, you feel really good about what you did at the plate. You trusted your hands, you let the ball travel, and you took the ball straight to it. That's great work right there. And now let's see if they force some action with good wheels on the bases. Two outs, runner at first. And next will be the cleanup hitter, Riley Green. Fall off foul. pitch in the air right center this is mashed way back and gone he rocketed that one out of here it's two nothing you can sense it inside the stadium these fans are devastated That's exactly the pitch he was looking for. Crushes it and hits it out of the ballpark. So two down. Here's the catcher, Carson Kelly. There's the strike. Oh and one. Swing and a miss as he was late. I think he was sitting off speed there. Got him looking. That's a strikeout. The two come across to score in the inning courtesy of this two-run homer. It's now a 2-0 ball game. Back now, new pitcher on the mound as we roll into the bottom of the eighth, Tyler Holton. This southpaw's been really good against left-handed hitters. Number 87, Tyler Holton. So the lineup flips over. Steven Kwan digs in now. Great ground outs already. He's over three. As the lefty gets to work. That one finds the zone, Come and that's strike one. Strike. Pitching has been pretty dominant in this one, but you got to be careful, not working with too big a lead. They could get right back in this ball game if you're not careful. Only two now. And a foul ball, he stays alive. And now the lefty headed down the line. Nobody can get there, and it's a foul ball. And a pitch. What a chase that time. This guy's a fun guy to watch taking it bad. He just battles up there. He doesn't take a pitch off at all. Makes it so difficult on the pitchers out there. You can tell they get frustrated with how long it takes to put him away. Left hand batter waits. Off the plate inside. And the count's even at two. Struck him out looking. Absolutely dotted the edge of the zone right there. That was a tough battle, man. So to make a really quality pitch and just catch him looking like that, it's got to feel good out there on the mound. That was a fun at bat to watch. Martinez batting with one down takes a strike. Lefty continues to work, but the closer getting loose in the bullpen. Swing and a miss struck him out. 
Couldn't hit the fastball at the knees. Chance to strike out the side now. You talk about the benefits, the advantages of relievers who can come in and get the swing and miss, whether it's inherited runners or maybe a little jam that they get into themselves. Knowing that they can miss the bat, tell you what, that's huge and can change the ball game. And now, Jose Ramirez. Fair ball. And that rolls into the corner. Around first and hustling for second. And he's got his second double of the game. He has had such a good day today. I think he's going to want to leave when it's over. Couple of doubles today for the DH. So, man aboard. Here's Josh Naylor. Late on that fastball. These fans, they are ready to cheer about something. With the tying run at the plate, here the bottom half of the eighth inning. The tying run at the plate. And that's outside, and it's one and two. Tying run at the plate. And another ball. Man on second, two down. That smash short center. Pulls it down and he makes the catch. And that's the inning. Guardians lead one. They're still down. It's two zip. New inning getting started. Here's the third baseman, Gio Urshela. And the pitch. And there's the strike. Oh, and one. Slider misses outside. Hard hit to third. Throws to first. Now one gone in the ninth. Up next is the Tiger. The short shot. And up next for Detroit, Zach McKinstry. And a foul ball. Base is empty one away here at the top of the ninth. Down the middle for a strike. 0 and 2. to the pitch the shortstop takes the ball foul ball still a one and two count one down base is empty that one to first Naylor takes it to the bag two quick outs here in the top of the ninth Running out of chances to pad the lead. The first base base. Andy. Andy Abanez, the next to hit. Out front with the swing, and that is strike one. Been a solid inning so far in relief. Getting them through this inning only down two can give their lineup a real opportunity to just grind their way back into this game with the few outs that they have left. 
And they'll do it again. Two down, nobody on. In the air, center field. Martinez gets under it, and he makes the catch. And that is that. Three up, three down that time. Five, six, and seven will lead things off in the bottom of the ninth. It's the Tigers two and the Guardians nothing. New pitcher for the Tigers, Jason Foley. He's been so good against lefties. Now pitching for the Tigers, number 58, Jason Foley. Stepping up for the Guardians, Will Brennan. The right field. The pitch. And a good eye there. Next offering is in for a strike. Another ball. At the belt and fires. In the air, out towards left center. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. One away. The second baseman. Here's the second baseman, Andres Jimenez. We talk about guys with good speed, and definitely he has it. But pushing the offense aside for just a second, Chris, it's the defensive side that I think the speed factors in the most. That one finds the zone. That's strike one. Well, he gets to balls that get by most people at that position. Just really impressive because there are certain times the ball comes off the bat, automatically that team that hit it thinks that they've got a base hit or they may have extra bases, and he just takes it away. Right-handed reliever. Gets a piece, and it stays 0-2. Left-hand hitter waits. Cuts and misses. It's a strikeout. Oh, really went aggressive in with that slider. Good two-strike pitch right there. At worst-case scenario, it's weak contact in play. Exactly where he and the catcher wanted it. And first offering is fouled off. Now, Boog, this is a real tough place for visiting teams to come in and close out ball games for a win. Two outs. Oh. And takes low for ball one. The Guardians down to their final strike. On the ground, and this should do it. In there safely. One out away from this game being over, but an infield single keeps them alive. They're still breathing, and maybe this provides that last-minute spark. hitter for the Guardians, David Fry. And he would be the tie and run boot, so we may see him try to launch one if he gets a good pitch to handle. Fry tries to hold up, appeal to first, and James Kingsley says he won a round. Tying run at the plate. They're down to their final strike. Swing and a miss, and he 
got him. And that is the ball game. A low scoring ball game in this one. Two nothing game, few errors, pretty clean. That's kind of what you want to see in terms of defense and pitching. A couple of runs was all it took to get the W today. Two nothing, your final here in this one. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Chomby saying so long.